Tell me a story, read me a book. Hands in my lap at the teacher I look. If I sit on quietly, the teacher might say, here is story I have for you today. So this book is called, I'm Not Very Afraid of the Dark. And you'll be able to see in this book, it says with hundreds of tiny holes. So right here, all of these are holes in the book. Can you see that they're holes? Look at all of those holes. So all throughout the story, we're going to see little holes that will show us what's on the next page. Pretty cool. So again, this story is called, I'm Not Very Afraid of the Dark. All the little holes. I'm not very afraid of the dark. I'm not very afraid of the dark. They kind of look like monsters, but it was just showing you the next page. I tell everyone that I'm not scared of anything. Poisonous snakes, not likely. Giant hairy spiders, never. Are you afraid of the dark, they ask? No, I say, but I think not very. Well, at least it's true in the daytime. In the day, the dark is small. It's tucked itself under things, almost as if it's hiding. But as the sun goes down, the dark stretches out. It gets bigger and bigger and starts to cover everything. And the feeling inside me gets bigger too, like a hole I could fall into. Nobody knows about it but me. When I'm inside my house with the lights on, everything's bright and cozy, mostly. But there are corners where the dark lurks and shadows on the stairs. The feeling vanishes as I'm getting ready for bed. It's swallowed up by the bedtime bustle. It's all busy, busy. Pajamas on, brush my teeth, tuck Ted in. Then comes story time, all snugly and warm. But all too soon, it's good night, sleep tight, and click. Off goes the light. In the stillness of the dark, I start to notice things I didn't see before. Monstery shapes on the wall. A tap, tap, tap on the window. Something creeping across the floor. Quick, switch on the light. There was nothing scary there at all. Just shadows of my toys. Old anteater, cuddly croc, and ollie octopus. Some branches waving in the wind. A tangle of clothes on the floor. What was there to be afraid of? Let's go back and look. So this is what he thought he saw in his room when the lights were off. He thought he heard something. He thought that there was a monster on the floor. He was so scared. But then when he turned the lights on, this is what was actually there. Was there anything to be afraid of? No, nothing at all. Let's keep going with the story. Then one day, Dad says, let's go camping. And off we go. But silently, I wonder if the dark will find me there too. The scared feeling vanishes as we're putting up the tent. It's all busy, busy. Pick a good spot. In go the tent pegs. Sorry. With a bang, bang, bang. We unroll our sleeping bags all cozy in the lamplight. And before I've thought of it, dark is already here. So he's camping. He's going outside into the woods in a tent with his dad. But out here, the dark is huge and wide and more of an adventure. I decide it's like a guessing game. What's that swishy swishy? It's the trees and the breeze. The shadow of a glimmered of eyes. Only an owl. 
Glitter flutter? Moss. Do I dare switch off my light? I do. And that's when I discover the most magical thing of all. What do you think he's going to see when he turns off his light, his flashlight? What are you going to notice? It's only when it's really dark that I can see the stars. Look how beautiful. Look at all the stars in the night sky that he's looking at. Wow. In the morning, the light comes back. It spills over everything and covers up the stars. And so I wonder, maybe the dark isn't all that bad. It's just a big velvety night blanket wrapped around the world so it can go to sleep. And if the dark never came, you'd never see the stars. Yeah, you can still kind of see the stars, but not as bright. In the end, I told my mom all about my feelings, and she said, it's okay. I can leave my lamp on anyway. So, am I still afraid of the dark? Maybe sometimes just a little. But when I think of all those stars, sometimes the feeling melts away, and I feel brave enough to switch off my light. Good night. Can you see his eye? Put him in his chest. Here we're taking this cat. And now the light's off. Boop! All you see are his eyes. The end. So I hope you liked my story. I'm not very afraid of the dark. The dark is nothing to be afraid of. It's the same thing that's there all day. It's just harder for you to see because it's so dark. But don't worry. There's nothing to be afraid of with the dark. Again, I hope you enjoyed my story. Thank you.